Randy Gregory seems doubtful. on YouTube it's your main man boys for life coming at you with another video okay so Randy Gregory has given all given up all hope for reinstatement pretty much given up everything but hope um, as you know back in 2019 he was suspended indefinitely for multiple violations of his uh, drug abuse policy um, even though the suspension the, the the violations were bullshit um, it was a uh, misunderstanding on place or time or whatever the case was. Um, but you, we all know that he was suspended indefinitely um, for what had happened. Um, so it seems like the reinstatement more than likely will not happen. So we can see Randy Gregory just completely X from the NFL um, if things are going the way it says. Um, at this point, now we have Alden Smith and Bradley and I. Um, what does this mean for the Cowboys moving forward? Well, it means we need a veteran edge rusher on that side. Yes, you can say Alden Smith is that veteran edge rusher, but let's face it, he hasn't been in the league in five years. So what do we need to do to get something over there? Because we cannot depend on a rookie. Um, coming out the gate the Cowboys have not done that in I don't know how long other than you know your big time names um actually no actually no because Taco was not a, a guy that started right out the gate Van Der Esch was not a guy who started right out the gate the only one that you can say recent years is Ezekiel Elliott that was it and that's because we needed a running back but other than that no really no first rounder has started um let alone you know right off the gate let alone what do we get him in the fourth round uh, yeah, fourth, fifth, sixth, something like that round. I forget which one. Um, and I want to say six. But, um, yeah, so what does this mean moving forward? There's options out there. There is options. I'm not saying go after Clowney. I'm not saying that at all. But what other choice do we have? Like, seriously, what do we got? He's already said he wants to play for the Cowboys. Now, yes, he's saying he wants to play for the Eagles. And the Eagles are on his top list. But... Like I told Joey Shakes, what's his name? Clowney is just like a, a whore at the end of the night trying to find someone to go home with. Um, but you still got standards, you know what I mean? Because he's turned down contracts from the Browns and Miami. Like, who would even want to go to those places? He wants to be on a championship team, and let's face it, or a, or a playoff contending team, let's face it, the Cowboys and the Eagles are the two teams that always fight for the NFC East. As of recent years, in the last four or five years, um, those have two, been the two top teams. Um, again, am I saying go after them? No, but what choice do we have? Seriously, what do we got? We really don't have much. I mean, this opens up, um, this opens up options for things. Um, like I said, the Cowboys have given up all but hope basically they've given up it's just it's just a matter of time before it's like nope he's done so with that being said we need to figure out a game plan of who to get in because we did have a nine we were counting on gregory and now we got olden smith um we got a rookie and we got a veteran who hasn't been here in five years hell we were gonna have a veteran who hadn't really been here in two years so um um, shit, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So we were iffy on the left side. Um, so in my opinion, we need to go out and get someone who is stable, who has been in the league and who has played, um, who is consistent at what they do. And to me, the biggest name out there, and Clowney has even said he'll take a one-year deal. I just say give him what he, not give him what he wants, but give him the 10 mil. You know, I think we have 11 mil on the books um, right now. So I would not be opposed to bringing Clowney in just because of the situation that we're in. So leave your 
your thoughts and comments down below and let me know what you think of this video.